first stop this week. We went to Aldi and spent about $110, nosy rosy over here. Um, we needed a lot of like proteins and stuff and they were out of a lot of stuff at Aldi that I was looking for that would have made my overall trip this week much cheaper. So we had to pay the dollar at Walmart for pickup tomorrow. Hopefully they have the things that I'm looking for because like Aldi was wiped and it was crowded. I went at a later time than I usually do. And if I sound crazy, it's because allergies are whipping my behind, okay? It pained me to get this 12 pack of eggs at Aldi. These pasture raised ones were $4.99. Basically the same price of what the 18 count at Sam's, but Sam's has been out number one. Number two, I wasn't going there and they were cheaper than the happy eggs at Walmart and we have two eggs left to our name. I've been going through them. So I always like to keep those ones from Sam's on backup, but they have been out of stock. So we had to pay the million dollar for the eggs. I like the way the pasture raised. I'm telling you, they taste better than regular. I got some more of these grapes, the red ones. Waylon loved the ones, those big ginormous ones we got last week. I feel like they were more expensive this week. I think we got more, but I'm sure he will love to see more of those. Always get a French baguette, I feel, every single week, like one or two. Got to throw it in cart because we are, I am, I am, I say we, I am flying through the bread. Got a bunch of produce. You know, that's why I like to go to Aldi. These are still $2.19 for the Blackberry. So I got three of those for Trey. He ate all the ones last week. And then they did not have my beloved Central West raspberries. I know, I dug. They didn't have any, but they had this whatever paradise, paradise berries, and they were the same price and they look pretty good. But those other ones, I'm telling you, they're chef's kiss. I think this is a three pound bag of the little red potatoes. I wanted to get the same ones y'all saw me haul last week, but they all looked crappy. Like they had sprouts like out to here and they looked really gross. I was like not paying them. And these were much cheaper. I think this might be even a five pound. I don't know, but it was a lot more for the price of what I'm saying. I'm gonna do those smashed potatoes again. We loved those last week. Super easy and delicious and cost effective, I might add. If you're looking for a really cheap side, that's delicious. I got this big one pound bag of mozzarella cheese. I need this for a recipe and we can always use this for the homemade pizza lunchables for the boys. Also, or that's for a lunch for me. I also got the block of the mozzarella cheese that is for a recipe i realized we only had a few slices of like sandwich cheese left so i got this happy farms colby jack it was the last one they had it's one of our favorites and it's macro friendly too i eat this on a lot of stuff 70 calories i got a half gallon of the one percent i could not believe the price on this versus walmart and that's the boys for cereal this weekend i'm filming they're still home <laughs> When you're watching this, they're back at school, but when I'm filming this, they're still home and we're running low on the Fairlife, all the milk, so I just got that to tide us over. I also got them two of the Friendly Farms Moo Tubes and the Cotton Candy and Melon Berry. Y'all haven't seen me haul these in a while because I got that good deal at Sam's, but we are running low and I know they like these flavors, so I picked them up to have. I got another Daisy 2% cottage cheese. I'm gonna be making a Parmesan chicken cottage cheese bowl. That's what I need the mozzarella for and the cottage cheese, and I have one on hand, but I feel like I'm gonna need more, so I always get it if I feel like I'm not gonna have enough. Speaking of, I did get another tub of the Plain Friendly Farms non-fat Greek yogurt. I flew through that one last week. Now that is just for a backup if I ever need it. And then I got two of the cinnamon rolls. If you know, you know, boys, boys, boys. That's all I gotta say. I got this Never Any Mild Italian Chicken Sausage. I'm about to bust into this right now for lunch. There are 140 calories for a link and 14 grams of protein. The ones I have from Thrive Market that I hauled way back when, they're in the freezer. I have like one or two packs left and they're not tasting right. They taste funny and I'm not about funny tasting proteins. You know what I mean? So I got this for a lunch option and to freeze and just have. They look good. They have a lot of good chicken sausage options at Aldi. Speaking of chicken, I got the ground chicken, one pound for a recipe. Also need two pounds of the 96% Lean ground beef, it's still cheapest at Aldi. So I got this one was $6.83 and this one was $6.59. $5.99 a pound is what they're charging right now. I'm telling you, it's cheaper there than anywhere. I also got this to have as a future dinner because they have so many of like these preseason things and the ones we've tried, we have loved. They have like the pork carnitas and the barbecue pork stuff. I wanna try all that too and put it in the crock pot, but I didn't wanna go crazy today. But I got this pork center cut loin filet and the mesquite barbecue. The macros on these like pork loins are fire. The ones that are seasoned, check them out for an easy dinner option. 140 calories for four ounces and 22 grams of protein. And y'all only paid 4.96 
for this pork loin. And that'll be a few dinners for us. So winning, winning. Check out those pre-made things if you're looking for some easy dinner options. Just throw like a smashed potato, starch, and a veggie or a side salad and you're done. I did get a big pack of chicken breasts from there instead of, I didn't go to Sam's this week, but this is the cheapest around besides the frozen ones at Sam's, $2.49 a pound. So I paid $10.98 for almost four and a half pounds, so not bad. I need that for a recipe next week and also just to have on hand. And then they had some Aldi Finds food section I was excited about. So this shrimp and crab ravioli, delicious shrimp and crab stuffed in artisan ravioli pasta. I love any type of ravioli, but when you stuff like a shrimp and a crab in it, I mean, sign me up. The macros on it aren't terrible for 10 pieces. It's 260 calories and 13 grams of protein. I thought this would be good to add some shrimp to it and also like some Alfredo sauce like you see here and that be an easy, delicious dinner. So that's gonna go in the freezer for a future meal as well. Also saw somebody haul these this week for all these finds and they're $1.99 a bag, which is 11 ounces. I thought that was really great for what this is. The roasted potatoes and green beans in a rosemary buttery sauce. Doesn't that look delicious? And the macros for a serving, which is 115 grams, is 110 calories, three grams of protein. So I got two of those for a future side for probably the pork loin, something like that. And then I priced out the mango chunks. It differs. Y'all make sure y'all are checking that like per ounce price thing on all the tags at Sam's, Walmart, Aldi, everywhere to see which one's the better deal. And the mango chunks at Aldi were cheaper than Walmart this time. So I got the, what is this, a 24 ounces. I'm out. And I love having that on the side for a breakfast option. And then I got two of the Alfredo sauces, the four cheese and the roasted garlic. We really like the taste of this one. I guess this is like comparable to your Classico one. And it's cheaper than Classico. It's not cheaper than Great Value though, but I like the way this one tastes versus Great Value. And the macros are spot on. 45 calories a serving for each one of these, which is a quarter of a cup. Yes, please. Got two cans of the yellow cling peach slices and extra light syrup, 60 calories a serving. I don't think we have any on hand and that is just for an extra fruit option for Trey and I specifically. And then in the Isle of Shame, I could have went ape poo you know <laughs> i could have went crazy okay but i restrained myself and i just got two of these wax melts and i think they were like a dollar something a piece so not bad but this caramel latte if you have an aldi y'all get this one this one smells so freaking good i am excited about this one this one smells great too i got this one for the summer spring watermelon sugar lemonade it reminds me of that bath and body works watermelon lemonade candle it smells just like that so i got those for my wax warmer i'm trying to do more wax melts than candles but y'all know i love a candle too and they had plenty of them by the way so that's what we got at aldi walmart pickup should last stop this week walmart grocery pickup 105 dollars and 50 cents for this crazy i'm getting 75 cents cash back from walmart cash but still Oh, Walmart, what is the actual deal? We got some romaine lettuce. They had zero at Aldi because Aldi's is like $1.35 for a three pack. This is like $3 for a three pack. I mean, Aldi is the way for produce, freshness. I'm telling you guys, but they were out of so many things, unfortunately. I got a bushel of bananas. I got some Fairlife milk. I just got the fat free. That is for Ninja Creamies. If I want to sporadically put one on plan, I don't have any on plan, I think for next week, but sometimes I switch things up and the boys th flew through the one I had for cereal this week. And of course they flew through their chocolate Fairlife milk. So I had to re-up on that. Also got some of the pre-sliced cinnamon raisin bagels. These are Trey and I's favorite. I have been going through these more than him. And we do have like half of last week still, but just to have. Also got a onion for a recipe, a red bell pepper for a recipe. Y'all saw me haul the baguette from Aldi, but we literally ate almost all of it the night that I got it for a current dinner. So I went ahead. This was my only substitution. I wanted just the baguette, but they sub for the twin demi baguette, which is the same exact price. Totally fine. And you actually get a little bit more. So it was in my favor. I did get some Thomas blueberry English muffins. Y'all haven't seen me haul English mu muffins in a long time. And I got this for a dessert option this week. I'm, I'm needing the carbs with the extra calories and I'm either throwing in bread, rice, or pasta to get that, to get those numbers up. 
I got the vanilla Oikos triple zero. I've been loving yogurt bowls. If you check out Monday's video, I showed you what I've been putting in them. If you're an OG, you already know it's the same stuff. I used to put in them way back in the day. Speaking of yogurt, I got trade two of the knockoff to the Dan and Light and Fit, the Great Value Light Greek Peach and the Light Greek Blueberry for his lunch boxes next week. They're going back to school, so I had to get some school things. Speaking of the Light and Fit Protein Mixed Berry Little Smoothie Shakes, 10 grams of protein and 80 calories. When they're home, I don't necessarily give this to him for lunch, but they have a little fridge and they keep a lot of things on hand, even if he doesn't eat them that day, in case he has a day where he's like extra hungry or whatever. Yeah, my, my, my parents out there with kiddos with special needs understand. I got the Tyson air fried chicken breast strips. I'm doing those Parmesan cottage cheese bowls and I'm going to use that for my chicken. Instead of going to Sam's this week, you're going to see some things that we usually get at Sam's. I wasn't going to Sam's. I wasn't going in that direction of town. It's out of the way. So I just got the great value of the 20 buttermilk biscuits. Y'all know we like to get the big bag at Sam's. They flew through them when they were home all week. So I re-upped on this until we get them back from Sam's Club. Speaking, I said I was going to get the mahi from Sam's, but we didn't go there. And we loved the mahi mahi the other week when I did it with that new Hellman's drizzle sauce and some smashed potatoes. If you watch that vlog, so, so good. So I'm going to do the exact same meal one day this week when the boys, are, I think, are just having like chicken tacos. I'm going to do the mahi for myself and if the hubs wants to have it too. Got a big bag of the Or Ida Golden Fries. These are 90 calories a serving. I'm going to be making a bunch of new recipes this week. So follow me on Instagram because they always go there first. I'm going to be making a French fry casserole. You heard me right. Macro friendly, high protein. Hopefully everybody in the house will like it. That's my goal is to always get the boys, the whole family eating what I'm eating. That can be on my plan as well. So <laughs> we're going to see, we're going to test it out. And for that recipe, I needed like half of this 2% Velveeta block. This little 16 ounce guys, look how little this thing is almost six dollars like it's better to get the big one but i really didn't need the big one you can't freeze it i just wanted to get the little one they had a zero of the aldi brand Velveeta on hand i guess from super bowl last week they were wiped because it's like half the price for the bigger thing for those parmesan chicken bowls i'm going to use this organic roasted garlic pasta sauce i like this better than the aldi basil tomato one. I'm not a big fan of that one, even though it's cheaper and the macros are good. This macros are fire on this one too. It's a little bit more expensive, but I like the way it tastes better. 50 calories for a half a cup. And then we got some Barilla bow tie. They had no bow tie at Aldi or would have gotten it there and they didn't have the great value in stock. So I got the name brand of the 16 ounce. We're doing a some type of chicken Alfredo bake and that is going to be coming to you guys if it's good. Got the cream of mushroom fat free. I think that is for a recipe this week. And then I'm almost out of honey. I know I'm flying through the honey for my pre-workout game and I have just a little bit left. I didn't think I'd have enough to tide me over until we went to Sam's. So I got the same brand. I always get there. It's a little bit smaller for the same price. 32 ounces of the local Carmichael's honey, Louisiana honey. Gotta have it for pre-workout. It's my favorite. Then I got some non-food items. I got the magnesium, 250 milligrams. I take this with turmeric every single night and it helps so much with digestion. I recommend it to all my program ease that join my program to help if you are new to high protein and not used to eating so much this will help with going to the bathroom in the morning i know tmi but we all struggle with it and this and the turmeric i call my nightly cocktail gotta have it i'm almost out of magnesium and it's good for a million other things too like you need to be taking it or have it in your your diet in some shape or form i got the suave men citrus rush three in one citrus and sandalwood scent Daily Clean Shampoo, Conditioner, and Body Wash. This is for the boys. They are out, and I had to re-up on them, and they don't mind, like, the, the knockoff stuff. They don't need to, to go bougie. And then y'all know we are a flushable house, so don't even comment. We know. We know, okay? But we got to have it. I live in a house with all boys, and I wasn't going to Sam's, so we got this, what is this, 240 wipes because we were all sharing one pack between the bathrooms, and it was no bueno. So that's good that that is back in my life because, Lord have mercy, these boys. So that is what $105 at Walmart gets you. Jeez.